Shalom. All honor, praise, and glory unto your hour, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rakakwadash. Big up all of the Akim and the Akwaf, the Virgin and the Sister, them. And double honors to all those who come before me and that come after me and push the 100% truth, too. So, this, this lesson I want to talk about the protests in Ireland dealing with the Algerian immigrant who did a crime because every race of person does a crime. But this crime has been highlighted because like first Ezra's 5 and 73 says and by their secret plots and popular persuasions and commotions they in that definition of the building all the time that king cyrus lived so that they were in that from the building for a space of two years until the reign of darius so their secret plots their tv media popular persuasions you know the the, the, the propaganda and the commotions the the the, the, the um the side of them and black swan events are distracting people and, and, and misconstruing their perception of what is going on right because you see the algerian immigrant stabs three children in the middle of dublin right breaking protests erupt in ireland as suspect in dublin stabbing of five protests broke out in dublin after stabbing attack near dublin school what algeria owes to ireland struggle so so there's a there's attack right but you have to remember say that, 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 that Putin, Libya, and Algeria, because Algeria biblically is Libya, which is the world northwest Africa, right? From Mauritania to, 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 to Morocco, all the way to the modern day country of Libya, that is the biblical Libya, Libya. And they are on board with the Russians. Defense agreement B Putin to H. Aftar, Russian naval base in Libya, together with Algeria, they close entry slash exit to the Mediterranean. Atlantic Ocean right the, 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 the Algerian Parliament unanimously authorized the president to declare war on Israel that's why you see that the Western media is now attacking the Algerian people because these Algerian immigrants in Dublin have nothing to do with anything people stop people every day white man stop people every day black man stop people every day Chinese man stop people every day but they're highlighting this they're using the Cointel Pro, they're using M16, the MI6, the, the British version of the CIA and FBI for set up these secret plots for, for null the people back to sleep. It's World War III right now. The whole fucking place is against NATO. Even NATO is against NATO. You have France who get screwed over by America and England for the Orca submarine deal with Australia when they call back all of the, all of the ambassadors from America and Australia, they've since from replaced them, but you know Sir France is not with America, right? The Ten Hans, which is NATO, shall hate the Har, which is America, and burn out with fire. So, so Europe is really not with America secretly, right? As well as Turkey, the Turkish part of Europe and NATO, they are not with America, and people are are, are being distracted by these type of news. You have truthers and conspiracies and Bible thumpers are talking about why the Algerians are doing it. They're getting distracted. Distracted. Right. Hold on. So even Turkey. Right. Algeria against Israel. So Algeria. The, the Israel-Algerian relations are done. Algeria calls on IC, the International Court of, of, of Criminal Justice, to hold Israel accountable for its crimes in Gaza and the West Bank. Right, so Algeria denounces Israeli recognition of Western. So Algeria has been against Israel for a long time. And now the Western propaganda media network has to destroy their image and make the Edomites and all the coons and, 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 and the brainwashed people think that they, they are the enemy and the Israeli Idomians are the good guys. It's a trick because Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 22. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues they call their peace. So we live in a great war of ignorance so people just don't know the truth about what go on. Because they don't consider for look for the truth, they not seek the face of the Lord. If you want to seek the face of the Lord, 
right? Look upon this video right now. We're, we're looking at the face of the Lord right here, right? People who are believing in the New Testament, but they don't believe in the New Testament. Because they might go say, oh, that's Old Testament. Bro, the word is the Lord. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai is right here. This is him right now. I'm looking right at God, right here. The word is God. The word was God. The word was with God. And then the word become God. Because the word is God. This is Yahweh right here. And then now I look upon it. And then now I look for the sign of Jonah the prophet, which is the word of God. And that's why they might get caught up by the flood of destruction. The, the, the serpent, the dragon, is casting a flood and is carrying away people. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the Lord thy God, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. I will also forget thy children. So people don't consider and they destroy for a lack of knowledge. A thousand dollar phones in everybody's hand. You depend on the bus, you depend on the train. You have over thirty thousand dollar worth of cell phone technology. And people just want to look up music videos and gossip and Instagram body shaking. And don't want to look upon the sign of the time. They don't want to seek out the word of God. They don't consider. They are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Even some of them Israelite camp and some of them 501c3 and some of them truth or conspiracy circle them are destroyed too. They're not calling at all. Everyone waiting for World War III for start when World War III start long blood clot time ago. Right? Several US service members injured in missile attack at Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq, Pentagon say. So, so they're telling you that uh, soldiers were injured. They're not going to tell you that the soldiers were killed. They're not going to release that information. But we have right, several Iranian-backed militias on Al-Assad area. So we have Iran attacking openly American soldiers in the Middle East. Right? U.S. troops face further attacks in Iran. Drones and explosives have targeted a convoy and two air bases. So you have drones as well as airstrikes attacking U.S. bases in the Middle East. But no one wants to call this out uh, uh, as World War III because we live in a great war of ignorance. And a statement from Iraqi's Kurdistan Counterterrorism Service added that the attacks at al ahir had caused a fire at, at one of its fuel depots but added that U.S.-led coalition forces had evacuated the airbase upon October 20th. So it a go, it a go. Since the war between Israel and Hamas has begun, US and coalition troops, that's US and NATO, they're always together. The har and the beast have been attacked at least 40 times in Iraq and Syria so far. 56 American personnel have been injured in these attacks. They're not telling you about how many of them dead because that's too embarrassing. But the fact that they're announcing this, and America is not doing anything about it. The troops are just sitting ducks waiting to get killed. And nobody understands what I go on. Even the people with military families, like my big brother is in the Navy right now. He's stationed in Byron and he frequents from Byron to San Diego to Australia. Right? They're not talking about it. The military families aren't telling you that their sons and daughters have been sent over there. <laughs> Hold well on. Hezbollah show of power. So now you have Lebanon too. Lebanon levels Israeli military base with ballistic missiles and drones. Drones and ballistic missiles. And, and the American and Western European people think that these Arabs and these Persians are just backwater goat herders. These men have advanced. You're looking at the people, right, that all the computer jobs and the science and the STEM jobs get outsourced to. The Arabs and the Persians and the Indians. No, these men are showing you they have the ballistic missiles. They have the advanced computer software systems. These are the people that make these things. These are the people that are in these job positions. I know they're angry at America and NATO, rightfully so, because they are the Idomians, the Edomites, and their time has come. Uh, uh, and they're not talking about this, man. They completely destroyed the Israeli military base in Barnat, in Galilee, in northern Israel. In what has been described as the Shiites group's biggest attack since the start of the war. So you have both factions of Muslims across the world attacking the Americans and the Israelis. You have the Shiites and the Sunnis. They have unified. They have come together against the slave masters of the West. And people can't say that World War III 
is almost at its climax. They, they're waiting for the nuclear strike for come for say, it's World War III now. By that time, you're fucking cooked. Yeah? You're cooked. So then we have a next, a next headline right here. Right? American bases on fire. U.S. under general attack with Iranian ballistic missiles and drones in Syria and Iraq bombing. F-15. Right? The, so the U.S. is now carrying out counterattacks against the Iranian positions in Syria. So, so Iran is attacking America and America is attacking Iran. But do not forget that early in January that Israel and America led and they openly declared that it was them, um, Israel and America, they led a drone strike up in Iran. The war has been raging since February 2022. It's been raging. World War III is here. I'm not a news reporter like they have said. I'm not a news reporter. I'm not a prophet. So I don't really check on the news articles for, for convey it to you people. The, the, the sheep of the Lord. The followers of your hour shy and your hour. I, don't really, I bring out the prophecy to them. But from time to time, I forget the news articles for sure people. Yo, it's guanin. Okay, I, you might not have believed that it's guanin. But I am here. If you want to believe it from me, I will tell you that it is guanin. Right? World War Three is raging. World War I and World War II started long before America get involved. So why do people think World War III is any different? You're waiting for America to get attacked for say it's World War III. World War I and World War II did not, did not involve America until the last two years. All right, U.S. military shoots down missiles and drones as it faces growing threats in the volatile Middle East. Right, so Yemen, right, Yemen, hold on. Yeah, earlier the US, the USS Carney, a Navy destroyer in the Northern Wet Red Sea, intercepted three land attack cruise missiles. Yo, do not glance over these words too fast. They are telling you that the Yemeni Houthi rebels of Yemen have cruise missiles. They're calling these people terrorists, but they have advanced advanced NATO American level weaponry. You can't just breeze through this. You're after taking what is being said. Right? Earlier, the USS Carney, a Navy destroyer in the Northern Red Sea, Red sea intercepted three land attack cruise missiles and several drones that were launched by the Houthi forces in Yemen. The, the action by the Carney potentially represented the first shots by the US military in the defense of the Israel in this conflict. So what more do you need? Do you need Biden to come out and say it's World War III for you to believe it? You're not going to have that. Because the scripture said Babylon will be taken like a thief in the night. You're not going to know it to come unless you all read the word of God for know it to come. Yeah? And then the other day, U.S. warships cruising Red Sea shoot down attack drones fired from Re Yemen. U.S. assets in the Middle East have come under increasing threat since the war in Gaza broke out. Right, a U.S. warship cruising the Red Sea has shot down drones fired from Uti El territory in Yemen, according to the U.S. Central Command. The USS Thomas Hudna, a guided missile destroyer, shot down multiple one-way attack drones launched on Thursday morning from Yemen's Uti control areas. So these one-way control drones are from Iran. So you have the world dragons of Arabia and the Carmanian Iranians are teaming up against America and Israel and NATO right now before the whole blood clot world's eyes and the people stalking out a great war of ignorance destroyed for a lack of knowledge cannot comprehend what is going on. That's why it's a go take them like a thief in the night. That's why the Lord reserved Babylon for one hour of great fucking judgment. I'm sorry that slip out. For great blood clot judgment from them. <laughs> Why? Because, because the truth about these Idumian Israelis and the truth about the elites and the pure blood. That's what you, you see. You see what them do? These Edomites, do, the, the top elite Edomites. They do DNA testing upon themselves to make sure that they are 100% Esau. Because the things that they do 
like firing multiple ballistic missiles into the West Bank when there is no Hamas fighters or Palestinian fighters in the West Bank. Only a Edomite could do that. Only a Edomite could do that. And these Americans, these Western Europeans, these, 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 these Romans are the children of Babylon. They are the, Ed the Edomites. Right, you go into Psalms 137 verse 7. Remember all oh, your Awabasham, Yahweh Shai, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation. Right, the great city of the king, they wanted to destroy it. And now they have taken it into their possession. Right, O oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones, the prey. And we are going to devour the prey and raving them. Mm. So, these are Idumians. And the Lord is using the least of the flock of the Idumians for bring out the, the, the enemies, Gog and Magog, the dragons of Arabia, the Carmanians, uh, 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 the children of Lot, Ammon and Moab. The Lord is, is allowing these Israeli Idumians to draw the whole of them. That's why Jeremiah 50 and 45 write it like this. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, that he have taken against Babylon, and his purposes that he have purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. He may go burn out as a portion of the land of the Assyrians, the, the Babylonians. Yeah, the least of the flock. Who are the Israelis? Right, that's why I write it like that. Because Jeremiah 49 said the same thing. But it tell you it is Esau is talking about. But Jeremiah 50 call it Babylon. Because Esau is the daughter of Babylon. Therefore hear the counsel of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, that he have taken against Edom. And his purposes that he have purpose against the inhabitants of Taman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. I'm going to burn out Israelis. I'm going to burn out America. I'm going to burn out Western Europe. That's why Russia talk about them. I'm going to bomb out England in less than five minutes. That's why, that's why them I talk about them. I'm going to burn out America and burn out New York and burn out Florida. Them I'm going to burn out these blood clot pagans. Yeah? Because... Ezekiel 36 and 5. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and all Adumia and against all Edomia, all Edomites, from the least to the greatest, which have appointed my land, the land of Israel, into their possession. So the people in possession of Israel right now are Idumian Edomites, which have appointed my land into their possession with the, the joy of all their heart with the spiteful minds for cast out for a prayer they are in possession of the lord's land right now the bible tell you in the last days the idumians would have the lord's land why can't the people see this because they're not of god they're not of the lord they're not of the word of god you're our you our shy they have a form of godliness but they never come to the world truth you see me i know through, through these, 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 these Israeli dickheads who have drawn out the, the whole entire assortment of Gog and Magog and, and all his company with bucklers and shields with them. No, Russia is loading their hypersonic nuclear Sarmat Satan 2 missiles into the launch pads. And they have them targeted and locked and loaded. And people don't understand it. I go take them like a thief in the night. Bro, this thing can pop off any fucking time right now. I would have never know. Russia loads missile with nuclear capable glide. The hypersonic 20,000 miles an hour. That is 4,000 miles slower than the sun. What can go the speed of the sun that man has ever made? Nothing except these weapons that the Lord has caused man to make. It's the smith that fired the coals up. Yes. He make this, the Lord purpose this weapon for cleansing the whole earth of the wicked works. 
He flooded the earth the first time with water from heaven. He said, I'm not going to do that no more. You see the rainbow up in the sky? The turn the truth of God into a lie. The rainbow means that it never going to rain water down and flood the earth. This time I'm going to flood it with fire and brimstone upon them. The whole of them are going to get cooked up. They're going to get cooked up in all of them unfaithful works and wickedness. And right here, Russia loads up missile with nuclear capable glide hypersonic. That saw my too. Right? And then Iran unveiled its new hypersonic missile, the rear HGV technical. That are the new Fatah. They don't have the old Fatah, but they have a new Fatah. And America still don't even have one hypersonic missile, man. Not even one. Iran, Persia, ready. Go up, O Elam. Besiege, O media. All the sign there have I made for cease. The treacherous dealers keep dealing treacherously. America bomb out 200 of your civilians. America has been sanctioning you for, for over 30 years. I know the Lord has given you more power than them. Go up, O Elam. Besiege, O media. It a go come. It a go come. And now North Korea, them have nuclear submarines and them have the hypersonic missiles as well. But America has none. America have none. You see me? The Ha Song 8. The Ha Song 8 is the North Korean missile claimed to be a mountain, a hypersonic glide vehicle. It claim, but it is. It is. They just don't want to say it, but it's true. Them have it. Them have it. Back as a child, growing up, it was a joke. That North Korea would ever have a missile. It was a joke that they'd ever have a nuke. I know they have one better than the American NATO. I know America and NATO are the fucking joke. Right? That's how the Lord works. The Lord is the ultimate originator of everything. He do good and he do evil. He's the original comedian. He turned these people into a, a joke. He turned them into a joke. They that see thee look gnarly at thee and say, Is this the people that used to rule the world and shake kingdoms? Are these the man them that bomb Harashima and Nagasaki? <laughs> Joel 3 and 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning oaks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. These little countries that people used to say was weaker than America and NATO, they can blow over, they can blow up America and NATO a hundred million times in less than an hour with these new weapons that the Lord has caused them to make. But there is none understanding Esau. They that eat his bread and take him foreign aid have laid a wound under him and he has no understanding in what is going on. He has no understanding. The Edomites are cooked, dog. Them cook. Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving genocide holiday just passed. The Edomites were filling up them belly and they don't even know said the food cooked, but them cook too. Revelation 20 and 8. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. Gag and Magog to gather them together to the back hole. The number of whom is the sand of the sea. That's why bricks, bricks, people think Saudi Arabia not, not, not upon the side of them. Right? But, but Saudi Arabia there with bricks and OPEC. So, so Saudi Arabia they're upon the side of Russia and them. That's why bricks have, have Iran, bricks have South Africa, bricks have India, right? Elam, bricks, bricks have, have Libya, bricks have, have Ethiopia, bricks have fulfilled the Gag and Magog prophecy right here. Because Gag and Magog are going to lead the Baku into Armageddon because America and Western Europe is going to be put down by them. And then, and then the Russian man, them, the Gag and Magog, think they have next up. But no, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai have next up. All kingdoms will be put down and the Lord's kingdom will reign after this great Baku right here. Right? And that's why we see upon the map, Gag and Magog is Russia. And they have Persia, Ethiopia and Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmet. So it's a war alliance, bro. It's a war alliance. And, and then Iran, right? Because BRICS, as, as the Arabians, pan them too. So even though it looks like Saudi Arabia is not with Gaza and Hamas, like Iran, Lebanon, and Syria is, no, no. When they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction shall come upon them. They have laid a wound under thee. You see me, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth that all which hear them may fear and tremble. Right, so the dragons of Arabia have coming out with all of the weaponry, ballistic missiles, drones and cruise missiles, advanced weaponry, daddy. Let the weak say they are strong. Also the Carmanians raging in wrath 
shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with the Arabs, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. They're going to make the habitation a desolation. So much desolation that the Lord has to bring down a new Jerusalem out of the heaven. Because the whole one that is being trodden down by the, den the Gentiles are going to get burned out of blood clot. And all of them are going to stink like men shall rags. And their worms shall never die. Because them people in Israel, 90% of them take the mark of the beast. And them have, them have the eye, the way it called, the, 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 the thing with the, the hydra of Algera. All up in a them, then them do not access yeah 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 the Israelis thinking it's safe you think we forget that Pfizer and Moderna all of them are created by 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 the Israelis no we know how to get fire we not steal people's souls they take souls of men I know the Lord I go reward their reward upon them and burn them up to blood clot you see me the Carmanians are the Iranians. The dragons of Arabia are right there. So all of them against them on your ear. They are not Jerusalem. They are not the Syria. They are the Idomians who have taken this land and put it into their possession. And them dead. Them dead. So World War III is here. The judgment is being set up. You better get ready, daddy, for this great aura of judgment if you live in a Babylon. Right? And America have an army everywhere. Uh, so, so you think you can escape America by leaving America? You's a dickhead. You all go, the Lord will find you just like him find Jonah. You cannot escape the will of the Lord. You either repent, seek, and learn. Or you stay in your sins and enjoy it and burn. You see me? So, Shalom, I hope that I help people learn something. And I help people get edified. And I feed the sheep. And that we... You and me are one of the 144,000 are the one third that are going to be saved. Because who wants to burn? Right? So our praises. Call halal. Ya'awabashem. Ya'awashai. And shalom.